People wonder and ask, did Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him marry a child? Was this a normal practice 1400 years ago? What was the wisdom behind it? According to authentic sources, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him married Aisha when she was 6 years old and the marriage was consummated after she turned 9. However, it is important to understand things in their historical context. For instance, it would be silly to ask, what kind of milk did they drink 1400 years ago? Or to ask, what kind of engine they used to have back then? Therefore, one must understand that things 1400 years ago were very different from now. Time have changed and so human have. 1400 years ago, it was very common for women to marry at a young age. It is a historical fact that girls from ages 9 to 14 were married off in Europe, Asia, Africa, and America. For example, San Augustine, 350 AD, he married a 10 year old. King Richard II, 1400 AD, he married a 7 year old. Henry VIII, 1500 AD, he married a 6 years old. Even in the Bible, it says, But save for yourself every girl who have never slept with a man. According to Catholic Encyclopedia, Mary, the mother of Jesus, was 12 when she married 99 year old Joseph. Before 1929, Church of England ministers could marry a 12 year old in Britain. Before 1983, Catholic canon laws permitted priests to marry off brides at the age of 12. A lot of people are unaware in the United States in the state of Delaware in the 1880, the minimum age for marriage was 7 years old, and in California it was 10 years. Even now, the marriage age for some states are 12 in Massachusetts, 13 in New Hampshire, and 14 in New York. At the time of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, those who refused his message tried every method and strategy to discredit him. They were always looking for opportunities to attack him, verbally or even physically. Some of this verbal abuse consisted of calling him magician or a soothsayer or crazy. However, they never thought to point out or objected to his marriage to Aisha. Why? Because this was the normal society, meaning it was completely normal. With that said, did you know that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he had only one wife, Khadija, throughout the first 54 years of his life? Did you know that she was a widow? Did you know that she was 15 years older than him? He, peace be upon him, spent his entire youth with her. He was committed to her until after her death by keeping ties with her friends. What about Aisha? Was she a child when she agreed to marry Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? First, it's important to note that it is strictly prohibited in Islam to marry someone before the age of puberty. Note, the age of puberty varies throughout different times and different places. According to scientific references, girls might enter full-blown puberty anytime between the ages of 9 and 15. Also, the average temperature of the country is considered to be the chief factor with regard to menstruation and sexual puberty. So, was Aisha a child? No, she was not. So, what about the wisdom behind this marriage? God always knows best. The marriage of Aisha was an instruction from God. Aisha narrated to us more than 2200 hadiths or sayings of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Aisha was exceptionally intelligent and since she married Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him at a young age, she was able to learn so much from him. She later played an important role as a teacher, expert and interpreter of Islam. So there was so much wisdom behind this marriage. For those who do not know Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him did not come to seek worldly pleasures but rather he warned us against them. His companions described him as a man of morality and said he was shyer than a virgin in her seclusion. When the believers asked him an awkward question, he would cover his face out of shyness. He taught us that each religion is known for a kind of morality and the morality of Islam is shyness and modesty. Say, I'm only a man like you, whom revealed to him that your God is one God. So whomever would hope to meet his Lord, let him do righteous work and not associate anyone with his Lord. If you have questions about Islam, ask a Muslim. Please like our Facebook page.